Hi, this is Jadi and welcome back to the next lesson. Very easy one. We are going to talk about strings in Python. Uh, you know how to run your Python environment. So you run Python normally. In my system, if I run Python, it will be version 2. I want version 3. So I will push Control D and then I will go with Python 3. Now I'm running Python 3. This depends on different systems but be sure to run Python 3. It's okay if you are running 3.7, although at the moment 3.9 is the latest release, but my distro decided to stay here. But do not run Python 2. Still, there is no big difference. Control L with delete the screen, so you can give your commands. You remember, if I say five, it will return back five. Five plus three, will be 8. So how to define a string? I can say hider. The answer is hider. You saw I use double quotes. It returned back with a single quote. No difference practically. So I can say hider. They are equal. Okay? Normally, if Python wants to show them, uses single quotes. I'm more used to double quotes because I'm coming from another language, but no difference. So... That's all. You learn strings in Python. Although we can show a few more tricks. Is there a meaning in hider multiplied five times? Yes, it's hider, 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 hider. But there is no division because it's meaningless. If it has a meaning, it will do it. Is there a meaning with say hider plus Jadi, yes. This is hider string plus Jadi string. I use one space here to make it more nice. This is cool. So for sure there is no minus because it's not logical. Python is a very logical system. Uh, what else is fun? Hider plus four, meaningless. And it's very, very good to start from up right here and read the error messages. It's very useful. For example, when you say hider plus five, it says trace back. I had an issue. It is a type error. Type string cannot be added to type integer. So you can only add two strings to each other. You cannot add an integer number to a string. It's not logical. And Python doesn't do tricks to solve this kind of stuff. Okay, so now we understand strings and now we kind of understand types. When you say five, you can say type of five. It says, okay, it's kind of an integer number. If you say 5.5, it says, okay, floating point. Floating point is what we call the numbers with the decimal point. And also type of my name. It's a string. So class CDR is its type. Don't confuse yourself with this. Just wanted to show it. Let me show one more thing and we will close this session. And that's the input command. You can say input and the Python will read something from input. Now it's waiting for you to type something. I will type seven. So okay, answer is seven. And you see the type is string. So whatever you give to the input will be the string. If I want to read someone's name, I can say name equals Jadi. And then I can say uh, hello plus name. You will see a small issue here. We don't have a space. So let's do this like this. Hello Jadi. If I didn't knew the name is Jadi, I could say name equals input. So the system will wait for the user to input some name. I will say name is, I don't know, Joe. And then if I have the same line that hello name, that would be hello Joe. To make life a little bit easier, I will push control L to clear screen. You can say please and one space to make it more beautiful so now it will work like this give me your name please Jati. and then I can say hello 
plus space plus name to say hello Jadi. this is the basics of programming now we know variables we know calculations we know strings we know getting input from the user we just need output let's go for it that's print finished print name it will say Jadi. when we are working on the this environment on a command line you can see that there is no difference between saying print name and saying name but when we start programming there is a small difference although this shows that name is a string but when you say print it just shows the value okay uh, I think that's it for all let's see what we learned from the beginning what we learned is we learned to run Python which was very cool then we learned about the calculations we learned about the variables now we saw the strings which is a specific kind of variable we saw input and we saw the print let me tell you a secret in every single programming language you learn these are the steps you should take and there are a little bit more there are we can call them advanced variables like uh, arrays and this kind of stuff dictionaries there are loops so if you want to do something several times and there are conditions if this then that practically if you know these you know a programming language so you can see how advanced we are I'm not going deep into different concepts and I'm trying to just show the basic idea and then we will write fun programs with what we know if you want to know more details you should read books there are lots and lots and lots of free stuff there free books free tutorials free YouTube channels everything so I'm trying to be quick and reach some more fun things to do be with me if we cover these three we know a lot of python be brave